Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. What's up, Leos? What's good, my loves? Come on in, Leos. This is your love reading for the month of April for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have a North Node, it may resonate for you, Leos. So, Leos, I uploaded a video for you, but however, it did not want to upload, okay? It is literally in the process of still processing to upload. Um, so, I am going to or I decide to do another video for you, okay? So, this is going to be, again, your love reading for the month of April, I believe everything happens for a reason, Leo. So we're going to try that again and get the message out for you, okay? So let's see what messages your spirit or your higher self wants to inform you for the month of April. Again, this is for Leo's. My sexy ass fire signs. My sexy ass Leo's. Let's see what messages spirit has for you, my love. Ooh. The Queen of Cups. There's some love here, Leo. Hmm. Let's see. Could be a scorpion, Pisces, or a water sign. Let's see, Spirit. What other messages do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, the Four of Swords. Air energy here. Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Okay. Some of you are this person. Okay, you had to go in your thoughts. You had to go and meditate in regards to if this was a person that you gained feelings for, Leo, or vice versa, this water sign gained feelings towards you. Okay, let's see here, Spirit. One more card. This one is a pop out. Here you are, my loves, the Six of Wands. All right. Something we know that death is going to bring spirit is saying victory, okay? So why are we contemplating here, Leos? What's going on? All right, spirit, clarify. Excuse me, we had the jumper here, a knight of pentacles for some of y'all. It could be an earth sign, okay? Which is that is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? Mm. Give me more, Spirit. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups. What do we got going here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? The Queen of Cups? Why is the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles wanting to jump out here? Some of you all, again, it could be a earth sign that has these feelings towards you of having the love bug okay leo's towards you let's see why do we have the queen of cups here oh slow down spirit the knight of swords well who is all these damn people leo shit mm. Mm -mm -mm. now we got a knight of pentacles that want to slowly but surely come in and work towards this relationship or whatever this is whatever situation ship okay leo's it seals and then we have a Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, again, or Libra here that's rushing in here. Do we have two different energies that have a thing for you, Leos? I got a thing for you, baby, you know. Okay, well, hold up. Goddamn, we're going to have to dissect here, okay? Let's see what's really going on. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles here wanting to offer my Leos a pentacle, honey? They want to build. Okay, let's see. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles here. Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? What's going on? Mm, 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 mm. Gemini energy. The lovers. Making a decision in regards to love, as I stated. So this person definitely has feelings towards you, Leo, okay? Mm, 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 mm. And in order to come towards you, they may have taken their time or their sweet-ass time, okay? We know the Knight of Pentacles is all about taking your precious time, okay? Um, and I feel like now that this person, for some of you all, that has took time 
okay? Or it could have felt like a delay for some of you all, Leo. It's because this person was trying to contemplate in regards to how they feel towards you um, because they definitely have feelings for you with the Queen of Cups here, okay? And with the two of, uh, excuse me, the two, I'm about to say the Lover's card here, okay? Definitely want to make a decision in regards to how they feel towards you. Okay, so why do we have the Four of Swords energy here? Okay, why is the Four of Swords here for Leos? Why is the Four of Swords here for Leo? The Moon, Pisces energy. Mm, so what's the secret? Give me more, Spirit. Why do we have a Moon card here? Hold up now, Leos. What's going on? We have a lot of heavy air out here. So some of y'all, this person simply could have a lot of air energy or a lot of placements of air energy in their chart. Or again, it could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Give me more, Spirit. Why do we have the Moon card here and the Knight of Swords? Yes, Leo. So this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or again, could be an earth sign, right? We have water out here as well, okay? But this person definitely sees you. Some of you are Leos, single, okay? Here we know the Nine of Pentacles is a single energy here, right? She's very intuitive, okay? She has her spirit guide here. She listens to her higher self. Right? It's how she is and was able to manifest all these pinnacles here, right? Very grounded, right? Okay. And you all, Leos, I feel like you had to take time to meditate, to contemplate in regards to this Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? Or whoever this is harnessing this energy in regards to their feelings and how they feel towards you. And I feel like some of you all, this person rushed in here with the knight of swords right this could have been something that was very unexpectedly okay for this knight of swords and how they came in and informing you that they want to right we know the lovers is making a decision once you make this decision in regards to the way they feel towards you leo or vice versa okay and it was something that could again took a while we know the knight of pentacles is the slowest deck or excuse me, the slowest card in the deck, right? When it comes to manifesting or making a move, okay? Um, and I feel like for some of you all, this person could have been very, um, you know, as far as their emotions, could have been very cold or guarded. Thank you, Spirit. This person could have been very guarded when it comes to their feelings within the air energy here, okay? And there's reasons why I feel like it could have took a time or a while for this person to just come out and say leo that hey i feel this way towards you okay um right with the queen of cups here right they definitely have emotions for you leo they definitely have feelings towards you and vice versa i feel the same way leos okay because you wouldn't take your energy out to sit here, I feel like, and because I feel like this is more your energy, even though it's air energy, but I feel like this is you having to, because you've been over here minding your own business, right? You've been here minding your own business, manifesting, right? Trying to um, set up wealth and health for generations and generations to come here, right? With the Nine of Pentacles, right? And some information that you're not aware of, that this person may could have kept from you, right? Had you to go here in your four swords energy, had you having to withdraw or draw back from this individual, okay? All right, Spirit, clarify the moon card. I still want to get more information in regards to this moon card here, Spirit. Why do we have the moon card out here for Leo? Why is the moon card here, Spirit? The moon card. Why is the moon card here for Leo? The devil. Wow. Capricorn energy. Okay. So for some of you all, okay, we know the devil is all in regards to energies or doing um, things in a pattern way that is toxic. Okay. That is not good for your highest good. Okay. 
for some of you all. Let's see, let's get more information in regards to the devil here, okay? So rather if this person was keeping secrets from you or being um, in the energy of doing things that are very toxic, okay? And was not being honest with you, Leos, okay? Clearly with the moon card here, being honest with you about some ways that they may could have had that were toxic or the way they make decisions here was in a lower vibration or it was in a very way of, um, you know, of course not, but honesty here. And for some of you all, this could have been a relationship, a marriage, okay? Because um, again, this is someone that you have to go back and you have to reflect, okay? Everything that they just came out and told you. Because for some of you all, that secret was here that, yes, I have not been able to be in a committed relationship with you. This person could have been controlling, okay? We know the devil energy is all about controlling, toxic patterns, toxic way of doing. Um, that's not in your highest good, right? And this person had to come out, I feel like, and communicate this with you. However, I feel like you all are aware of this person. This could be someone, again, from your past or an ex, okay, that you share some of these toxic patterns or ways of doing with this person, this individual. And I feel like now, my loves, you don't want to have any parts of that, okay? Um, you at one time wasn't able here to get sleep for some of you all, okay? And it's why for some of you all, are moving forward, okay? And regardless, Leos, you're going to be victorious, as Spirit said here at the beginning of the reading, okay? So let's clarify. Why do we have the devil here? Why is the devil here, Spirit? Why is the devil here in regards to Leo and this person? Why is the devil here, Spirit? Eight of Wands, communication. Again, some of you all, it could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo as well. But this person is definitely wanting to communicate with you, okay? Um, they may want to communicate with you in regards to, again, how they feel. But there is some energies here of this person that you and I know clearly is not in for their highest good. Or they definitely still have some ways um, that are toxic or some patterns here that they haven't let go of. Yeah, the Two of Swords. Again, more Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. Um, and for some of you all, it has caused you to be indecisive because of this person keeping secrets here. We know this is a half moon here, and you did literally have the moon card here come out. And it's why some of you all are indecisive because this person is coming to you, you know, I'm sure wanting to now build, right, after taking their precious time, right, Leos, and wanting to manifest. And it could be very demanding about it, right? You know... Um, because they're so used to being in the type of energies here and around energies that are in a lower vibration, this is how they may come off to you with wanting to tell you that they want to do build with you, right? With the King of Pentacles here, but not coming from a comfort place, right? And that's what have you drawn back with the Four of Swords or being indecisive here about this person, okay? Because they're wanting to come and communicate with you. And they could have some secrets here that, again, they may want to spill, okay, with the devil card here. So let's see. Why is the energy here of being in the Two of Swords? Hold on, Spirit. This me you have some jumpers here. All right. So we have the Two of Cups, Water Energy, Cancerian, Scorpio, or Pisces. So this person sees you as their soulmate, okay? Or some of y'all, this could be a soul tie relationship, someone that you had to come here and learn experiences with, or someone definitely from your previous lifetime, and you all are finishing out the cycle here currently during this lifetime, Leo. And I feel like there's going to be some clarity here that's going to come up in regards to this person, something that, Leo, you was possibly not aware of, okay? From what I'm picking up here with the devil card, and not only the devil card, but the moon card. So I feel like in the month of April, um, you will be getting communicated here. We know, again, the Eight of Wands is all about non-stop, non-stoppable movement here, okay? Um, some information here that's going to allow you to move forward here. And again, jump up on this damn horse and go towards your victory. And I feel like for some of you all, this was just the clarity, Leos, that you needed, okay? In regards to this person, place, or thing. Because I feel like there was a lot of secrets there. There was a lot of energies of 
controlling energies, um, you know, codependency energies here. I'm picking up as well here. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the Six of Wands. Why do we have the Six of Wands here for a Leo person? Why is the Six of Wands here? Clarify the Six. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting a lot of claws flipping out. Leo, Eight of Swords again here. More heavy air energy on the table. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Just take it where it resonates. If it don't, please don't make it fit. Then we have Everything is Fine, a.k.a. the Ten of Swords. Yes. So I definitely feel like this was someone, Leo, that um, now vice versa, the roles could be flipped, okay? Someone that betrayed you, someone that, of course, was from your past, okay? Um, and they could have had you once before feeling stuck in this relationship, feeling stuck for some of you all in this marriage, feeling stuck overall because of the energies and what transpired between you two where you just couldn't take enough and it had to come to an end, okay? And because of that, because you held your boundaries, okay? Because you got this clarity, right? And because you experienced this with this person, it allows you to not respond so quickly, I feel like for some of you all, right? I feel like some of you all didn't even respond to this energy when this energy expected you to, Leos, is why I feel like this person rushed in here right with the um king of swords energy here being very demanding right and rushing in here again with the knight of swords energy aquarius gemini or libra for some of you all leos that have an x as a air sign okay but i feel like this person yes they want to tell you how they feel and that they do love you or they had love for you leo yes i feel like it's been a while that they actually want to inform you this and manifest this okay that they want to choose you right and they're wanting to be very mindful i'm hearing in regards to because they know how you were they know how you were treated okay thank you spirit they wanted to correct that leos they know how you were treated they know that you were portrayed right and they know that they possibly kept secrets from you okay leo <clears throat> And they know that the relationship became, overall, let's just keep it for what it was. Keep it a buck. It became very toxic. Okay? And, again, there will be some communication, I feel, in the month of April in regards to you two. And, you know, as in finishing out the cycle here, this lifetime, right, you do have your free will, okay? So be very mindful that I can understand because some of you all, Leos, are definitely guarding your heart here with the uh, Two of Swords. We know this card is in regards to blocking, holding, right? So some of you all are definitely, um, you know, being very guarded of your feelings with the water back here. And then she's here on the ground, on the cement, guarding her feelings here with the two of swords because she don't have all the information she don't have all the details right but once she get this clarification right about how this person right this person again that you feel they feel that you are their soulmate energy right you getting this clarity now this could come in all sorts of ways it could be uh particularly from the person Okay, who caused the toxicity, who caused the relationship to play out the way it did, or this could be from someone around the way through the grapevine. I don't know, Leos, but you're definitely going to get some clarity in regards to this situation, in regards to this person from your past, okay? Um, and I feel like, because at one point in time, because of that, um, it kept you in this energy of being stuck and not being able to move forward here with the Eight of Swords. But let's see, give me more spirit. Why do we have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords here? Wow, we have the Ten of Cups. Yes, this is definitely someone I feel like that was from your past, and now they're just wanting to communicate. And I feel like if some of you all detached yourself from this person, Leo, and now I feel like this person, through all the trials hell and tribulations of the relationship this person is now aware that you are their ten of cups right isn't it crazy how that always happens after the fact you detach your, for yourself from this person as they say you never know what you had until it's gone okay is how i feel 
All right, Spirit, is there any other messages here? And my loves, if the reading is resonating with your spirit, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, my love, so that way you can be notified for when your readings do come out. I do post a video once a day, and you can follow any of the other, excuse me, any other platforms that I have here for Love and Forever Evolving is down below in the description box or personalized readings, okay? You can get a personalized reading from me in regards to your daily situations, your daily circumstances, okay? All that information is down below in the description box. Hold on, spirit. Damn. Taking a leap of faith, huh? So vice versa, okay? This person now wanting to take a leap of faith in this relationship or vice versa, you Leos. But again, I feel more heavy energy coming from this air sign, okay? Again, if this person has air energies in their chart or again, they're just harnessing or anybody, again, can embody the energies. But this particular energy is definitely trying to do anything and everything I feel Leos to manifest this uh, relationship that they possibly lost due to the toxicity or due to the decisions that they made of ways of doing things that was not from a good pattern of doing things that ended up being betrayal, right? So this person again is realizing that. So definitely again, my loves, remember you too do have your free will, okay? All right, thank you, Spirit. Let's get an oracle card here, Leos, to finish up your reading for the month of April. What messages from the Moonology card, Spirit, for Leos in regards to the spread here? For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, what messages in regards to Leo person and the energies here in the spread? What messages overall do you have here for my lovely Leo? Yes, my lion, my lioness. What message is spirit? All right, emotions are running high. Super moon, go Google that. Yes, the super moon, okay? Emotions are running high. So I definitely feel as I felt in the energy from the car that your person, Leo, okay? Or this person from your past, however it plays out for you right? Their emotions now are running high with that nine of swords coming out here. They receive this type of epiphany. They really realize now that you detach yourself, okay, for some of you all, that they just have to come back running to you no matter what condition I feel like they're in. Hell, they even got two feet, two shoes on their feet, okay? They hair could be out of whack. They could be all over the place, but the important thing is I feel like this person just wants you to know, Okay, because again, their emotions are running high. They want to be able to communicate this with you. Um, and I definitely feel that this person is definitely aware that um, what transpired between you two is why they're coming out all in this Queen of Swords energy and the Knight of Swords energy, right? With the Devil card here. So they're very aware. Okay, so this is something I feel like they have to have been contemplating on for quite a while now. Because sometimes it takes people a while when they have to face themselves in the mirror or go through and work through their own patterns. And again, because this person had a lot of toxic patterns and ways of doing things. Yes, the love was there between you two. Yes, you two loved each other, Leo. But I feel like this person um, was just at a place at the time where either they were coming out, okay, because hurt people hurt people okay this person could have not been healed or didn't give themselves time to heal after coming out of a previous relationship right and that can go on and on and on right um so i feel like this person now is realizing that leo okay or vice versa leo you're realizing that towards this person okay just place yourself where the energies are resonating my love but definitely this person emotions are running high so in the month of april i do encourage Looking up the super moon, Leos, you may receive messages there from spirit in regards to this relationship or your person here, okay? All right, my love. So that has completed your reading for the month of April. So we definitely shall chit chat and chop it up again for the month of April, Leos. And again, if the reading resonated with your spirit, don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? Hit that notification bell there, my loves, and we will definitely 
get some messages for you soon. And remember, Leos, your health is your wealth. Mwah, mwah.